Now back to tonight and the best of the South West's arts and crafts are about to go on show in Devon. The Contemporary Craft Festival in Bovey Tracy attracts creative people from all over the region and is estimated to be worth £1 million to the local economy. 10,000 people are expected to visit this Friday and over the weekend. The event was originally started to help with rural regeneration. Our arts reporter Emma Rominski went to meet some of the artists who've been helped by it. This is the original Contemporary Craft Festival here in Bovey Tracy. Now, new ones have sprung up in Cardiff, in Cheltenham, and now also in Bath. Many of the local makers that started out here have now got international reputations. Koli Takahashi is one of those success stories. She makes these beautiful bowls and spoons with her husband, Mark McGill, in their studio at Cockington Court in Torquay. But their work has recently been spotted by Toast, the women's fashion label that's branched out into homeware and is now selling their one-off designs internationally on their website. We choose one of the five craft people, uh, then uh, they're helping us to go forward and uh, that's a really good experience. They invited us to the uh, London Craft Week and that was amazing, really loving that experience. Clive Bowen is internationally known for his wood-fired earthenware. In the last 10 years, he's been exhibiting in Japan, but it all began in his studio in North Devon. He's been showing his work at this festival since its inception. I've been potting now for 50 years, so that um, generations now, I have children of children, grandchildren, collecting pots when their parents were, you know, back in the 70s. Now they've got children who also buy pottery, which is fantastic to keep that handmade pottery going. So we have, you know, some incredibly time-served established makers like Clive and then Takashashi McGill, who are relatively new. They're probably only about four years into their business. And we've got everything in between, so it's really exciting. It's been a particularly busy time for Peter Lanyon. His bee homes were recently featured in The Times, an opportunity that many small makers dream of. In spite of you know everything that's going on in the economy, I think there's an appetite for craft, um, perhaps as a kind of antithesis to everything else that's going on in the world. Since attending the festival, Helen Round has seen her business grow. She started making textiles on her kitchen table. Now she's got this workshop in Mount Edgecombe. So we have um, four full-time employees and two part-time employees here at Helen Round, and we have. Um, over 150 UK stockists and we also sell to companies in America, in Singapore, Australia and in Europe. When you started out, did you ever think that your little product made in Cornwall would go to Chicago? No, no, I never did. And, and in fact, we work with a number of stockists in, in America now. Makers like Helen might be small, but they have an international outlook. Emma Rominski, BBC Spotlight.